Scientists are warning of a new earthquake danger in Northern California. Oh boy, they've discovered that two fault lines linked together north of San Francisco, creating a new risk for the nearly 7 million people that live in the Bay Area. Some 1,200 emergency responders took part in an earthquake drill yesterday, and hundreds of scientists, engineers, and politicians gathered today in Los Angeles to discuss the next big quake. Maria Villarreal shows us the new concerns. A magnitude 7.8 earthquake hits California, and the clock is ticking. Whoa! National Guardsmen are working to pull a trapped man from an elevator shaft, while a specially trained dog searches for stranded survivors. This drill is meant to help emergency responders prepare for the real thing. You want to be the best prepared, the best trained, and the most efficient as possible. But these extreme scenarios could easily become reality. USGS scientists recently discovered that two of the country's most dangerous faults, once thought to be at least two miles apart, are actually connected, creating one massive 118-mile-long fault. Using this acoustic device, they confirm that the Hayward Fault meets the Rogers Creek Fault in the shallow waters of the San Pablo Bay near San Francisco. The longer a fault, the larger an earthquake it can produce. And if the Hayward and Rogers Creek Faults went together along their entire length, it would be up to a magnitude 7.4. What kind of damage are we talking about here? More damage than Hurricane Katrina in terms of loss. In 1906, the great quake leveled entire San Francisco neighborhoods, killing thousands. In 1989, the Loma Prieta quake killed 63 people and caused $6 billion in damage. Folks in the Bay Area need to be prepared for a strong earthquake. Watt's team is trying to predict the future by studying when earthquakes occurred here in the past and how often. When an earthquake occurs, the sediment along the fault line shifts, which creates a time stamp in the mud. Watt's team drops down these long tubes into the bay floor to collect samples. The cores are pulled from the water and cut. Pull this like a cheese cutter. Sliced open. Wow. Awesome. And photographed. You can think of it as looking down through time. So we can find a date for those flat layers on top and then the layers that are offset, we can bracket in the age of when that earthquake happened on that fault. Watts research will help scientists better understand these two faults as their potential for damage makes emergency preparation like this even more essential. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, Castaic, California. Really fascinating, really? isn't it? And no. scary. <laughs> it is. It's so a scary. little scary. It's scary for those living out there on the West Coast.